Well, this is a big, big milestone for us to be able to have all of the paving on the road course done before we get to winter here in Indiana. That was really the, the time frame that we were, we, were, we were trying to get ahead of. We were trying to make sure that we were done before the freeze came. And we've gotten this completed by the end of the, the day today, so we're really excited about the fact that we've got that done. We have a lot of work still to go. We have the curbing, we have a lot of the fencing and the things that have to come together. The grass needs to be put back down. We need to finish up some of our spectator mounds. But the main part, the racing service is complete. So we're looking forward to it, allowing it to cure through the winter and we'll have some great testing on it and a great race on it in May of 2014. Well, it, you know, one of the things we've heard from, from the announcement really is we've heard from all kinds of drivers, we've heard from all kinds of owners, lots of engineers wanting more data so they can start looking at, at the racetrack and trying to prepare for May of 2014. Sarah Fisher and her race team just being down the street, it's a natural for us to have her come out and actually be able to help us pave this last round of pavement that, that, that takes place here. And it's, it's even more interesting from my standpoint in the sense that Sarah uh, it grew up on ovals. So for her, you know, she knows this place like most of us do as an oval, as an oval racing circuit. And now she gets to come in and be part of the, of the road course that's going to be here. We're really looking forward to it. We think it's going to be great for May. Sarah's really excited about it. She can't wait to get Joseph out here and start running. So we're really looking forward to getting more race teams here, but here with race cars. I think there's a couple of aspects that I'm really excited about. I'm excited about how kind of corners one through six have really engaged a whole bunch of grandstands on the north end of the track. So there's a lot of different options for our fans to be able to sit in the turn four oval grandstands and see almost half of this racing circuit and see two great brand new locations. That turn one that's that's been modified just a little bit that's going to be great passing and the 5.6 chicane, which is gonna create some pretty interesting driving and, and competition as well. So that I'm really excited about. I'm excited about the new spectator mounds, making them a lot taller, a lot wider, so we can accommodate more people, in particular the spectator mound that sits inside of Oval Turn 4, which is at Turn 2 and 3 of the road circuit, is gonna be fantastic viewing for people that wanna just buy a GA ticket or who come out on free Thursday or Friday and, and wanna check it out there. So those are a couple that I'm really excited about that I think are gonna be terrific. And the final one that I, that's, is exciting to me is at the end of the Holman Strait, the 90 degree corner we've created there, which I think is gonna be a tremendous uh, passing zone as well. Well, it was really a neat opportunity to meet the team behind the scenes that's um, paving the road course for us in May. And you know, certainly without a steering wheel, <laughs> joystick driven, it was, um, it was pretty, pretty interesting to see how it works. Well, what, what's exciting is all the passing zones that they've put in by the hard braking corners. Um, you know, I think that'll add some excitement for different areas of the track for you know different groups of people to see at one time. So um, it shouldn't be just a one area, one passing zone that everyone piles into. Uh, it should be a multi-opportunity track to run on.